Well, it's back to domestic action in Scotland this weekend with the Premiership and here with the BetSafe preview. I'm joined by Barry Ferguson and Simon Donnelly. And looking ahead, first of all, to the Friday night game, St Johnson against Rangers up at McDermott Park in Perth. And uh, you said a couple of weeks ago, Barry, that the Hamilton game was one that yeah. Rangers had to win. What do you think of this one at St Johnson? It's the same I, I, again. Obviously, after the, we go back to the old firm game, it was a disappointment per, uh, performance. They had to go to Douglas Park, which is a difficult place to go. But listen, they got the three points. The performance wasn't great, um, but they still get the win, the three points, and they're going to another difficult place in McDermott Park. I've said a few times on this that Tommy Wright's got a really good uh, squad up there. He's a really good manager. And it's always a tough place to go, McDermott Park. So it'll be another tough game for Rangers, but they know what they've got to do now. They've got to keep winning and keeping the coattails of Celtic and Aberdeen. This is a big one for St Johnson because, according to Tommy Wright, Simon, they were so poor against Aberdeen. Yeah, and it's unlike them. It's unlike them. I think they had a good record at Putodri uh, up until last week. So you'd expect Tommy to have been through the, the squad, you know, and looking for a reaction. But as Barry says... The pressure's on Rangers because it's a really tough place to go, McDermott, at the best of times. Uh, and they can't afford, to, they just have to keep winning Rangers. Rangers' big friendly last week was cancelled, so they played a closed doors game against Morton. Yep. And Pedro Cascinia said afterwards they, they were very similar to St Johnson. I didn't quite get that. No, I didn't quite get it either. Um, but also <laughs> read that he says they went up a level again. Mm. Rangers, um, whether that was in the game or the, during the international break and during training. So. He's put pressure on the boys now and the, the boys have got to go up, as I says, to a difficult place. As I says, mm. Tommy Wright wasn't happy with the performance up at Aberdeen, so I would guess that he's had them in over the last two weeks, training very hard. And Rangers have got a difficult game up there and they've got to, as I says, for me, they've got to win every mm. single game because for me it doesn't look if, if Celtic and even Aberdeen mm. are going to lose many. Well, we're here at Celtic Park. The main game on Saturday is Celtic against Dundee. Celtic, Simon, coming in to this one on the back of a 2-2 draw here with Hibernian. Yeah, I was there, Jim. Watched the game. Uh, Hibs were really good, actually. You know, it was the first team, I think, this season that's came and had a go at Celtic domestically. And they almost reaped the rewards of the three points. You know, unlucky, I think it was 10, 15 minutes uh, to go before Celtic equalised. But... Looking at the game ahead, I think after the international break, you look at Dembele will be a, a, a fortnight closer to fitness, mm. Sinclair's rested, McGregor who we were pushing for for the Scotland game effectively has been rested, yeah. so he's got strength and depth as we have touched on before uh, and I expect a victory for Celtic. Well, Celtic are going to be very, very short price favourites here on BetSafe to win that one. Uh, the big game in Lanarkshire this weekend is the Lanarkshire Derby, Hamilton against Motherwell. Barry, how do you see that one going? Okay, it's a hard one. I'm a Hamilton boy, obviously. Um, but listen, I've got to say I've been impressed with Muddle over the mm. past month. Um, so I, I've been and watched him a couple of times. I wasn't too sure, but I've got to take my hat off to him. They've, um, they've put in some great performances. Um, and I just think they'll be too strong. Hamilton haven't won, mm. I think, in five games. Now, Muddle are getting really confident. I know there's been an international break, um, but... I see it being a tight one, but I see Muddle just edging it by a goal. Aki started very well against Rangers, Simon, but finished poorly. They did, they did. Uh, I'm, I'm with Barry, I think, I think Muddle will... I went to the Kilmarnock game a few weeks back and I wasn't overly impressed, but they seem to be getting results. You know, they've got two forwards there that are really hard working. Uh, I expect them to, to do enough on the night to, to, to get the three points. Now, Aberdeen are now level with Celtic on 20 points. Mm -hmm. uh, they go to Hibernian this weekend, Barry. You fancy them? I fancy Aberdeen. Um, it's going to another, it's, it's a game of the weekend for me. Two really <laughs> good teams. As I said, Neil Lennon done a great job last season in bringing them up to the Premier League. I do believe they'll finish in the top four. Um, but I just think Aberdeen's experience and know-how. Mm. They've had a great couple of years um, finishing second. Um, I just think they'll, they'll edge it, as I said, a bit of know-how in the team. They've been over the course now a number of years. And again, it's, it's going to be a goal, a goal in it. Um, I see Aberdeen just nicking that by a goal. Um, I think it'll be really tight. And we have a total difference of opinion here because Simon fancies Hibs. Yep, and last time out he, he picked me with Motherwell against Partick. Uh, I just feel with home support, you know, in the backing of the, the 20,000 at Easter Road. I watched Hibs here a couple of weeks ago, you know, and they've got McGinn, they've got a really exciting midfielder 
who leads by example and pulls the team along. They've got experience up front. I'm agreeing with him. I think it'll be tight, but I think Hibs might just nick it by a goal. Well, let's stay with you, Simon, because I know that you fancy parting <coughs> Thistle at home to Kilmarnock. Yeah, again, I keep tipping my old team every week and they keep letting me down. <laughs> uh, I just feel the performances don't reflect on their position in the, the table. I think last, last time out they were poor. Uh, but before that, they've had some reasonable performances. I think, like St Johnston, Alan Archibald will be working with his team for the last two weeks and looking for a reaction off them. And I feel just with home advantage, they'll, you look at Kilmarnock in a wee bit of disarray. You know, they've lost their, their manager. They're low in confidence. It's a big game for both teams, you know, sitting there with three points. Desperate to get their first win, I think Partick will get it. And last but not least, Barry, Ross County, who got off to a flyer under Owen Coyle at home to Hearts. Yeah, I, I, I think all the games this week are, are going to be tight. Apart from Celtic, I see Celtic winning, winning easily against Dundee. Um, I know Dundee have picked up of late, but Celtic are, are far too strong at home for me. Ross County, it's a, it's a normal when um, a manager gets a sack, a new manager comes in, you always get a, a lift off it. And Owen Coy went down to Kilmarnock and, and had a great result to now. And it was sad to see, obviously, Lee McCullough, who's a yeah. friend of myself, yeah. uh, losing his job over that. Um, but again, I, I could see that that's a draw written all over it. I know Hearts had a disappointing result last week, up at, uh, two weeks, sorry, against Dundee. But I think that's a stick on draw for me. OK, well, we've chatted through the games. Let's get the guys' treble, starting with Simon this week. Simon. Celtic at home to Dundee, Hibs at home to Aberdeen and three homes, Partick to beat Comala. OK, and Barry, which way are you going this week? I'll go one home and that's Celtic and two aways, that'll be Aberdeen and Muddle. OK, that's Barry Ferguson and Simon Donnelly. I'm Jim Dillahunt. All the prices at betsafe.com.